how often have you gazed enviously at the exotic creations of master bakers and chefs? Well, you needn't feel envious anymore, for here are a few professional tips on what can be done with the simplest of tools and ingredients, demonstrated by the famous husband and wife cooking team, Fanny and John Craddock. These butter flowers are simply cubes of dry bread or cake, decorated with butter, coloured with a harmless vegetable dye. An illustration of how a most uninspiring subject, like the much maligned hard-boiled egg, can be turned into a romantic work of art by a little ingenuity. What would you do next? Simple, isn't it? Although let's hope that most husbands don't mind their pipe cleaners being turned into swans. Otherwise the feathers will start flying. The wings, by the way, are fixed with duchess or creamed potatoes. Of course, if you're making a baby swan to look like a chip off the old block, you can use chips instead of creamed potatoes. There's no doubt that the appearance of food can make all the difference to one's appetite. Similarly, its presentation at the table shouldn't be overlooked. In fact, the variety of contemporary crockery and glassware from Scandinavia gives the modern housewife a head start in this direction. Notice, by the way, that these cheese whirls give the maximum effect with the minimum of effort. Something well worth trying for the next party. In fact, something you can let the older children try for themselves. Orange baskets. The peel cuts, by the way, are called Van Dykes. See? Nothing to it. In fact, you never know what you can do until you try. Famous last words. Lovely summer weather makes you want to spend long days in the country. But does your husband grouse because the picnic food you give him isn't as appetizing as the meals prepared in your kitchen? If he does, perhaps it's your own fault. This little lady's picnic dishes are guaranteed to make the most hardened gourmet's mouth water. Sausage rolls are easy. When you've made the pastry, put the meat in. It's a good idea to paint the edges with beaten up egg. It helps the pastry to stick together. Here our cook is showing you exactly how to turn the pastry over and cut it into lengths. Small ones look more attractive and carry so much better. And of course they needn't all be filled with sausage meat. Boiled herring or cheese and anchovy make tasty alternatives. To get that nice professional looking brown crust, paint the outside of the rolls with the same egg mixture you used before. Your oven has been heating for the last 15 minutes and if you put the baking sheet in the hottest part, the rolls should be done in about 10 minutes. The gas having been turned fairly high. As soon as they're finished, take them off the baking sheet because as they cool, they're liable to stick. Arrange them on a plate and then see how quickly they go at the picnic. Another thing which is guaranteed to soften the heart of a hungry man is a tasty little patty filled with prawns or chopped olives or anchovies. Little baskets can be made out of cucumbers. There's a tremendous scope for imagination as regards to the filling. But just to give you an idea, what about a mixture of grated cheese with mayonnaise with perhaps a little flavouring? We don't suggest you can use the basket to do your shopping when you've eaten the inside. But they do look neat, don't they? And then again, there are jellies. Instead of making one large one and cutting it up, why not have a number of baby moulds so that each person can have a complete one? And of course, every housewife's standby in hot weather should be the green salad. Instead of cutting your lettuce, tomatoes, etc., into tiny pieces and mixing them all up, why not line an unbreakable bowl with the large leaves, then slide your tomatoes and eggs and arrange them in layers on top of the olives and radishes. It looks very much nicer and is much easier to serve. And don't forget to cover the whole thing with lettuce leaves. It keeps it moist and fresh for a journey in the car. No wonder our cook looks pleased. She's made a really appetizing picnic lunch. And so can you, if you try. An army marches on its stomach. This is the place that keeps it going. And even in the army, Shrove Tuesday is Pancake Day. 
so trainee cooks get their battle orders for Operation Pancake in military style. And with ammunition at the ready, the troops start to beat the daylights out of the mixture. This is the proving range, where things start to hot up. But it's only phase two of the manoeuvre. So far, the actions only resulted in a preliminary skirmish. The worst is yet to come. The exercise is nearing its climax. Any casualties will go straight into the pig bin. An officer comes up to the front line to ensure that the troops are keeping their heads down before the final fling. The RSM's ready to give the word for his men to let fly and go over the top. Pay attention. I want you to fall in now into two ranks for pancake tossing. Get fell in in two ranks. Well, on, move yourself. Get yourself lined up. Look at your feet. You're idle boy there at the back. Get fell in. I'm now going to tell you to toss pancakes by numbers. I want you to pay attention. I will say pancake tossing by numbers, one, two, three, one, and when I say the second one, you will toss the pancake and I want to see it flying through the air. Pay attention. Pancake tossing by numbers. One, two, three, one. What are you doing with that pancake on the floor? Pick it up. You idle boy. What's your name? Max Seven, sir. Max Seven, your name's in the book. Let's do it properly this time. One, two, three, one. The boys of Mount House School at Tavistock in Devon on a pioneering course with Ross Salmon. They learn the art of cooking without utensils. How to cook an egg, for example. It takes a real man to appreciate an egg like that. And remembering that Bogner chef, who we're sure would resign on the spot if his kitchen was bare, here's the Ross Salmon method of enjoying fresh caught fish. This is monkey's delight, a flour and water mixture that is wrapped round a stick and cooked over the fire. In schoolboy style, you can stuff all sorts of things in the middle, bananas, jam, any old thing, and still be sure of rapturous munching noises from your clientele. <laughs> <laughs> 